When a local resident decided to record a fishing boat in his harbor, little did he know his life was on the cusp of an extraordinary turn, he was casually filming without a particular aim when his eyes caught sight of an anomaly in the water, initially, the nature of this object was a mystery to him, but it soon escalated into an alarming discovery that would have been dismissed as fiction had he not captured it on camera. The footage, a testament to an unbelievable event, showcased a moment so startling it could only be believed because it was recorded, the person behind the camera, Maddo, was an ordinary individual who ventured out early in the morning, intending to gather some additional footage for a project, unbeknownst to him, this day would offer him far more than he could have anticipated, upon arriving at the city's harbor, Maddo found it unusually serene in the early hours, it was then that something peculiar in the water caught his attention, the object, small, brown, and, with a scaly appearance, was unlike anything the amateur filmmaker had ever encountered, seizing the opportunity, Maddo zoomed in with his camera, hoping to uncover the mystery of this strange sighting, initially, it seemed to be a mere floating anomaly, but Maddo was unaware that this was merely the surface level view of a much larger phenomenon lurking beneath. This decision to film the unusual object would prove to be crucial, though, at the moment, Maddo was simply content with documenting. Something out of the ordinary during his peaceful morning walk, despite utilizing the zoom function of his camera to its fullest, the true identity of the object remained elusive, however, the situation took a sudden turn when noises emerged from the fishing boat's main cabin, drawing Maddo's attention, awakened from their sleep, six fishermen prepared for their day at sea, oblivious to Maddo's focus on the mysterious object. Maddo attempted to draw their attention to it, but the fishermen mistook. His gestures as a friendly salute and continued with their preparations, their routine was abruptly interrupted by a startling noise, which caused them to halt in alarm, curious and perhaps already forming a hypothesis, Maddo quickly redirected his camera towards the location of the peculiar object, finding it again didn't take long, and as the events unfolded, it became clear that Maddo had stumbled upon something truly remarkable, this moment, captured on film, underscored the importance of. Being in the right place at the right time, armed with nothing but a camera and an inquisitive mind, what started as a mundane task for Maddo transformed into an adventure, revealing the unexpected and the unexplained right in his local harbor. While Maddo was focusing his attention on a peculiar object, he began to notice an unexpected movement, initially, it seemed insignificant. A minor disturbance just above the water's surface, however, it soon became apparent to Maddo that the source of this. Movement lay beneath the water, causing the entire fishing boat to rock unsettlingly, this unexpected motion alarmed the local fishermen aboard, who had initially dismissed the boat's slight tremors, but as the situation escalated, the boat began to sway more violently, sending the fishermen into a state of panic, they scrambled across the deck, desperately clinging to the vessel's railing in an attempt to maintain their balance. Confusion and fear were evident in their eyes as they struggled to, Stay upright, what the hell is going on, guys, one fisherman exclaimed, his voice laced with anxiety, Maddo, initially silent, redirected his focus back to the water, aiming his camera in an attempt to decipher the cause of the commotion, when he looked through his lens once more, the 45-year-old cameraman was struck with terror, the seemingly insignificant brown blob he had observed earlier had expanded dramatically in size, now several feet in length, this explained the sudden jolt, the object must have collided with the boat, causing it to shake, Maddo was intrigued by the possibility that this enlarged brown blob harbored further mysteries beneath the surface, however, he realized the urgency of alerting the fishermen to the potential danger, lowering his camera, Maddo finally spoke, urging the fishermen to look overboard and observe the anomaly floating in the water below, the fishermen complied, leaning over the edge with a mix of curiosity and apprehension, what is that thing, one, fisherman muttered, Visibly perplexed, the group looked to Maddo for answers, but he was equally astonished by the sight and at a loss for words, but the spectacle was far from over. As the fisherman and Maddo watched in awe, the object began to rise again, causing the water around it to churn and bubble with activity. Something's happening, someone shouted, as the ship lurched from side to side in a frenzied dance. It was as if a colossal force beneath was attempting to push the fishing boat aside. Maddo, determined not to miss a moment of this unfolding drama, quickly adjusted his camera to capture the unfolding events, what he was about to record would undoubtedly be a life-altering experience, 
after a tense moment of foaming and tumultuous splashing, the water calmed, and the crew, along with Mado, stared in disbelief, the once tiny object that had floated on the water's surface was now nowhere to be seen, having been replaced by something far more immense and awe-inspiring, now fully. Emerged above the waterline a collective gasp went through the onlookers, their faces marked by open mouths and sweaty palms as they beheld the full majesty of the object, it's an animal, declared the lead fisherman, breaking the stunned silence, the revelation brought a profound sense of wonder and apprehension, as they realized the enormity of the creature that had just revealed itself to them. The identity of the aquatic being remained a mystery to the fishermen, but as it emerged more fully, from the depths, onlookers could clearly discern that this sea dweller stretched an imposing 60 feet in length, its skin was primarily a deep shade of brown, although it was adorned with lighter colored patches, along its spine, a row of small protrusions could be observed, giving it a somewhat menacing appearance, Mado, increasingly bewildered, queried the fishermen about their familiarity with such a creature, despite their extensive experience on the sea, having encountered a myriad of Unusual sights throughout their careers, this creature was unlike anything they had ever seen, their faces, etched with confusion and apprehension, revealed their reluctance to engage with this mysterious entity, which seemed not the least bit deterred by their unease, as the creature resumed its approach, the water around the boat began to stir once more, the large, brown form maneuvered through the water, encircling the vessel in a slow, deliberate dance, this unexpected movement sent a fresh, wave of panic through the crew, who were now desperate to distance themselves from this enigmatic sea creature, the captain swiftly issued orders to lift the anchor and make for the open sea, his command echoing the dramatic flare of a movie scene, the crew sprang into action, but an unforeseen development was unfolding, meanwhile, Mado, who had remained safely on shore, seized the opportunity to document the unfolding drama, with his camera fixed on the creature, he sought to capture its essence, Hoping to decipher its nature, the sense of security afforded by his landbound position allowed him to film with composure, the footage he captured was nothing short of extraordinary, filled with anticipation of what might occur next, however, as he prepared for another round of filming, Mato noticed something peculiar about the creature's behavior, unlike most marine animals, which would swiftly retreat at the sound of a boat's engine, this creature maintained an eerie calmness, its Tranquility in the face of disturbance was unnerving. Mado watched intently as it glided effortlessly through the water, displaying a serenity that seemed out of place in the bustling harbor, this anomaly in behavior captivated Mado, who couldn't help but feel a mix of fascination and unease at its inexplicable calmness just before the boat's engines roared to life, signaling its departure, Mado intervened urgently, his voice cutting through the air as he beckoned the fishermen to cease their activities, stop, stop everything you're doing, he bellowed, striving to make himself heard above the boat's roaring engine, though his voice struggled to compete with the noise, it managed to capture the attention of the lead fisherman, this man, dressed in his official attire, swiveled his head, his eyes widening as he caught sight of Mado, turn off the engine, please, I need to share something important with you, Mado implored with increased urgency, complying, the lead fisherman signaled his crew with a sharp whistle, prompting the five other fishermen to instantly power down the engine in a display of remarkable coordination, Mado observed with admiration the seamless operation of the team and even attempted to record the crew's synchronized actions, once the engine's din had subsided, the fishermen congregated at the ship's perimeter, their attention fully on Mado, what's the matter, sir, they inquired, genuinely curious about Mado's concern, Mado, seizing the opportunity, invited the men to scrutinize a peculiar animal in the water, guiding their gaze towards its tail, he explained how the creature's movement deviated from the norm, its back fin remained stationary instead of swaying side to side like that of a typical fish, yet it continued to propel itself forward, this anomaly piqued the crew's interest, prompting them to seek Mado's hypothesis, with a knowing smile, Mado revealed his intent to conduct a small experiment, he rummaged through his backpack for an extendable selfie stick, an item he seldom found a Use for until that moment, affixing his camera to the stick, he carefully submerged the waterproof device into the harbor, eager yet apprehensive about what it might capture, the anticipation was palpable as Mado retrieved the camera, his face blanching at the sight of the footage, the fisherman, noticing Mado's shock, pressed him for answers, but he remained silent, 
transfixed by the images on his screen. After a moment, Mado shook off his daze, a newfound determination propelling him towards the fisherman's boat, with the crew's assistance, he climbed aboard and promptly showcased the camera's contents to them, the urgency of his actions underscored the significance of what he had discovered, inviting the fisherman to witness something truly extraordinary, upon presenting the video footage to the lead fisherman and his team, initial clarity was elusive due to the camera's need for adjustment, however, as the visuals sharpened, a wave of astonishment washed over every observer, the lead fisherman, compelled by what he saw, declared the necessity of a closer investigation without hesitation, his crew hastened to prepare for his descent, assisting him into his diving suit with concerted effort, then, with a determined plunge, the captain entered the aquatic domain alongside the colossal creature, his previous apprehensions dissolved by the revealing footage, from the deck. His crew observed with bated breath, after several long moments, the fisherman re-emerged, his Expression etched with a profound melancholy in a sense of lost cause, to Maddo, it appeared the crew had anticipated such a disheartened return, removing his mask, the captain broke the silence with grim news, confirming the crew's worst fears, yet leaving Maddo puzzled, the captain elucidated that the subject of their discovery was a small sperm whale, a statement that initially bewildered Maddo due to the creature's atypical appearance, marked by spikes and an unusual hue, however, the captain clarified that the whale was deceased, its movement attributed to trapped air beneath its blubber, which lent buoyancy and motion, this explanation addressed some of Maddo's uncertainty, yet a lingering question remained, Maddo's inquiry into the crew's immediate sorrow brought to light a more disturbing truth, the whale's demise was not a product of nature's course, instead, as revealed by the captain, it fell victim to an explosion, which left its body severely mutilated, this revelation, that, the whale's spiky appearance and discoloration were results of extensive damage and exposed skeletal remains, struck a chord of horror in Maddo, the gravity of the situation was palpable as Maddo absorbed the news of the deliberate act that led to the whale's tragic end, the question of the perpetrator hung heavily in the air, the crew's response hinted at a sinister reality previously dismissed as mere rumor, suggesting a known entity behind this atrocious act, this veiled acknowledgement. Unveil the troubling truth, leaving Maddo and the team to grapple with the harsh realities of human impact on marine life. Upon hearing the whispers of unsettling rumors, the crew was galvanized into a state of readiness, each member assuming their designated role with a sense of urgency and precision. It wasn't long before they began to coordinate their efforts to hoist the massive sea creature from the depths. Maddo, though puzzled by the necessity of their actions, felt it wasn't his place to question the seasoned fishermen's intentions, we must act swiftly, one crew member implored, as they reached a critical juncture in their endeavor, within a mere 30 minutes, they had managed to transfer the entire sperm whale from the embrace of the ocean onto the vessel's deck, the crew encircled the whale, assessing the extensive harm inflicted by an explosion, witnessing such devastation was a heart-wrenching experience, one that Maddo realized no one should have to endure, he was about to Learn the grim reality behind these horrific injuries when the crew cast a final glance over the harbor waters, proclaiming it devoid of any trace of the incident, Maddo was left bewildered by the significance of their actions and the mysterious explosions, eager for answers, he approached the head fisherman to seek clarity, introducing himself as Maddo, he expressed his bewilderment, the captain, a seasoned mariner with over three decades at sea, explained the gravity of the situation, the the tragic demise of the whale was a stark indicator of illicit activities plaguing the area, the crew had been detecting unusual vibrations underwater, their sonar equipment picking up signals that had remained elusive until now, Maddo inquired about the link between these injuries and the detected vibrations, prompting the captain to unveil the rumors of illegal fishing practices in the deep sea. These rogue operations utilized explosives to harvest fish en masse, a method that, while efficient, wreaked havoc on marine ecosystems, the captain shared that discussions with fellow fishermen returning to the harbor had confirmed similar sonar detections, underscoring the urgency to identify and apprehend the culprits, we must track down these individuals, a crew member declared, a sentiment echoed by both Diego and Maddo, fueled by a newfound resolve, Maddo volunteered to assist in the pursuit of justice, with the engine reignited, they ventured back into the open waters, leaving the harbor. 
Behind, it was Maddow who took the initiative to contact the authorities, recognizing the need for additional support in their mission. Within a short span, police vessels, swift and determined, converged on a suspect fishing boat, the officers boarded, witnessing the whale's condition firsthand, they solicited a detailed account from Maddo and Diego, who meticulously outlined their findings and suspicions, following their debrief. The concerted effort to track down and apprehend those responsible for the nefarious fishing operations commenced, marking the beginning of a critical investigation into the dark underbelly of illegal fishing practices. In the immediate moments following their briefing with law enforcement, the crew aboard the vessel experienced a significant alert, the boat's sonar detection system registered an unprecedented surge in underwater activity, recording the largest vibrations the onboard technology had ever detected, this was a clear sign that the source of the disturbance, likely an explosion, was alarmingly close. The police officers and fishermen exchanged looks of resolute determination, understanding the gravity of the moment, they were on the cusp of confronting a notorious criminal, a pursuit that was now or never, Captain Diego, sensing the urgency, blew his whistle with authority and directed his crew to navigate towards the deeper waters, their quarry had eluded capture thus far by operating in the remote expanses of the ocean, making the venture into the abyss their most promising strategy. Diego's astute judgment soon bore fruit as another piece of evidence surfaced, guiding them closer. To their target, both the law enforcement vessel and Captain Diego's fishing boat gradually closed in on the source of the disturbances, the onboard sonar confirmed their trajectory, but the most compelling proof of their correct course materialized seemingly out of thin air, Maddo, a civilian aboard the boat, was documenting the journey when he noticed the sea ahead began to stir. What started as minor ripples quickly escalated into towering waves, peering through his camera's zoom lens, Maddo discerned a significant water spout on the horizon, a phenomenon consistent with a large-scale underwater explosion, alerting the crew to this development, they unanimously agreed it marked the criminal's recent activity, with renewed vigor, Diego accelerated towards the disturbance, the chase was fraught with a mix of exhilaration and trepidation, particularly for Maddo, whose most adventurous feat until then had been scaling a moderately sized mountain, approaching the site, the environmental toll of the criminal's actions became painfully evident, the surrounding waters were littered with the lifeless bodies of countless fish, victims of the blast moreover, the devastation extended to the seabed's coral reefs, which were now fragmented and floating to the surface, witnessing the scale of the ecological damage firsthand was overwhelming, Maddo, deeply moved by the scene, struggled to contain his emotions, lamenting the irreversible harm inflicted upon the marine ecosystem, this Encounter with the harsh reality of environmental destruction solidified the team's resolve to apprehend those responsible, sparing no effort in their pursuit amidst the vast and unforgiving ocean, it was almost inconceivable how some individuals could prioritize fleeting financial gain over the irreplaceable value of life, acting with a level of selfishness that was hard to digest. The destruction they caused for quick profit was unacceptable, and Maddo, filled with a righteous anger, knew that. Something had to be done to stop them, although Maddo was aware that he wouldn't be directly involved in the apprehension of these wrongdoers, he soon realized he possessed a powerful tool that could aid in their capture, his camera, by offering the footage he had meticulously gathered to the authorities, he hoped it might serve as crucial evidence against the criminal activities he had witnessed. Maddo had already accumulated a significant amount of footage, but he felt compelled to collect even, more to strengthen his case, he captured the heart-wrenching scenes of a dead coral reef drifting by the boat and the lifeless bodies of fish, scenes that were difficult to film but necessary, however, a turning point came when Maddo's lens caught sight of the offending fishing boat for the first time, under the guidance of Captain Diego, the police expertly maneuvered their vessels alongside the suspicious boat and boarded it, with Maddo in tow to document the findings for legal evidence. Maintaining a safe distance as promised, upon inspection, the police found the boat's hold overflowing with fish, a sight beyond what Maddo had ever envisioned the fishermen aboard claimed innocence, denying any knowledge of the explosive activities that had devastated marine life in the area, their feigned ignorance initially seemed convincing, but the discovery of explosive charges hidden within the vessel provided the authorities with the preliminary evidence needed for an arrest, Maddo captured every moment, his footage becoming a pivotal piece of evidence, when the court date arrived a week later, the accused fisherman,
clad in orange jumpsuits and restrained, faced the judicial system, Maddow was present, serving as a crucial witness due to his comprehensive documentation of the events. Initially, the fishermen displayed a demeanor of unwavering confidence. But their composure crumbled as Maddow's video evidence was presented to the court, his footage meticulously chronicled. Their illegal activities from the harbor to the ship, offering a clear and unbroken narrative that left little room for doubt, the judge, before delivering his verdict, took a moment to commend Maddow for his exceptional effort and skill in capturing the evidence that had been instrumental in the case. With a final strike of his gavel, the judge declared the men guilty, underscoring the importance of Maddow's contributions and how his astute use of technology and a keen eye for detail helped bring justice to light. In the days following the conclusion of a pivotal trial, Matteo's life veered dramatically towards fame, a twist of fate he owed entirely to his passion for filmmaking, his morning began unremarkably, devoid of any premonitions of celebrity status, it was a phone call, pulsing with excitement from a friend, that heralded the news, you're famous now, check the newspaper, with a mix of intrigue and confusion, Matteo meandered to his mailbox and retrieved the day's paper, unfolding, it, he was met with the astonishing sight of his own underwater footage splashed across the front page, prominently featured was his vivid image of a deceased whale, a sight that instantly captivated the public's attention. Accompanying this image was an article that not only identified Matteo by name but also hailed him as a local hero, the critical role of Matteo's footage was highlighted. It had been the linchpin in exposing what was described as an unprecedentedly vast illegal fishing. Syndicate, Matteo's quick reflexes to document the scene, coupled with the valor displayed by a handful of local fishermen, culminated in this groundbreaking revelation, the fallout from Matteo's discovery extended well beyond the courtroom, sparking a surge of environmental consciousness within the community, it galvanized coastal residents, uniting them in a collective effort to prevent such ecological catastrophes from recurring, this newfound solidarity even drew the attention of major environmental organizations, Marking the beginning of a broad-based conservation movement, Matteo, previously just an ordinary citizen who happened to be in the right place at the right time with a camera, was suddenly celebrated as the catalyst for significant environmental advocacy, he was invited to share his story at local environmental gatherings. Although he humbly offered the stage to more knowledgeable speakers after delivering his introductory remarks, Matteo's narrative served as a powerful reminder. Heroism can emanate from the simplest acts of courage and concern, his actions prompted tangible consequences for those behind the illicit operation, the court imposed the severest penalties available, hefty fines coupled with 15-year prison sentences for the perpetrators, this decision was universally lauded in the courtroom. Recognizing that Matteo's undeniable evidence warranted such strict measures, the sentencing sent an unequivocal deterrent to potential violators about the severe repercussions of exploiting marine life and ecosystems for financial gain. The triumph was not Matteo's alone, nor was it limited to the brave fishermen who assisted in exposing the culprits, it represented a monumental victory for marine conservationists worldwide, underscoring the critical importance of safeguarding our oceans and their diverse inhabitants. This case illustrated the profound impact that individual initiative, supported by community collaboration, can have on instigating positive environmental change.